you know, one of those days where you want to record something, you want to hit record, but you don't want to, you don't know what to record. I'm having one of those days. How many of you guys can, you know, just get in the car, drive for a couple of minutes, like five to 10 minutes, and then go to a beach like this one? I want to know, let me know in the comments. This is one of those things that I miss in the Netherlands where you can go to a beach, like a legit beach, like this one. In the Netherlands, you just have like rivers, water that's not this you know this type of blue so let me know in the comments who can do that if you're from curacao also let me know in the comments if you miss this i'm i'm, I'm sure i'm pretty sure i'm 100 percent sure that everybody who has lived on an island miss beaches if you live in a big country now so uh yeah i'm gonna enjoy the sunset and i'll see you guys tomorrow every photographer or every filmmaker has a shot that they want to take you know there's that money shot that they think they visualize or they saw in a movie or in a TV show or they saw on Instagram, whatever. There's one shot or shots that a filmmaker or photographer wants to take, right? I have this shot that I've seen on Instagram uh, of this sunken tugboat in Curacao that somebody took with a drone shot. And I found that very interesting. I found it like amazing. How can you take a drone shot of a sunken ship that's five meters on the water? So I've come to this place today to try to get that shot myself because I believe it's a very, very interesting shot. It's a very great shot to get and the, the condition should be great. Uh, today is, is like very sunny right now. Uh, it's midday so the, the sun is right above us. So it's pretty good lighting. The waves are not very high so it should be possible to get a drone shot of the tugboat. The tugboat is right over there where those people are snorkeling and swimming. I was hoping to get a clean shot of the tugboat, but there's a lot of people swimming down there. I don't know if I can achieve that. But the most important thing that I want to achieve is getting the shot. So let me fire up the drone. A few moments later. I feel like I should say, do not try it at home. So do not try it at home. <laughs> I almost lost it. Not a good idea. Oh my God. Okay. Droning here. No bueno. It's not. Damn. Oh, your battery didn't use. <laughs> it was full. So that was good. Damn. I nearly lost it. I knew that the road was going like this way, so I pushed it to this side, tried to get it on the road, and landed it. But when I started like flying, I was like, okay, I'm gonna lose this road. I used to fly in this wind, but this time it wouldn't come back. But I got it. Sadly, I don't have the footage. I didn't record. I wasn't concentrating on recording from the drone, but important thing is that I got it. <laughs> I wanted to get a drone shot of this lighthouse which is on the west side of Curacao. That wasn't a good idea. There's so much wind here that I had the drone in sport mode and it wouldn't come back. Like I 
floored it. Like joystick was all the way forward. Drone wouldn't come back. I had to battle the wind, like bringing it down and then push it to the other side of the lighthouse to get it down. I almost thought I would lose my drone, but I landed it safely and I got it. I can sleep like a baby tonight. I wanted to show you guys the process of like getting to the tugboat yesterday, but for some reason my phone didn't record or screen record the whole process. So that's why I put the like few moments later, I did get the shot. So I'm gonna put it on right now so you guys can see it. Also, we found a special place where we can sit and enjoy the sunset. I don't know what I have, like the last couple of vlogs with sunset, but I really enjoy sunsets. Now that I'm back in Curacao, let me show you guys this one, the sunset of today. Facebook reminded me today that 11 years ago, I arrived in the Netherlands, so I've been living in the Netherlands. As of today, I've been living in the Netherlands for like 11 years, which has been crazy. Met a lot of good people, made some new friends at school, made some new friends outside of school. It's been, it's been a crazy, great 11 years. So I'm pretty happy with the decision that I made to move to the Netherlands. It's very um, poetic that today, I'm on the island that I left 11 years ago. Like, it's crazy, look at the sunset. I'm thankful for the past 11 years that I've been in the Netherlands. Maybe I'll film tomorrow also, put in the vlog, but if I don't, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.